Hey Super Troopers, how are you? Hope you're doing great. Um, this video is a little bit late this month, but I'm so excited to finally talk about our May read, um, which was A Place for Us by Fatima Farheen Mirza. Um, and then I also have our June book announcement, which I'm equally excited to share with you guys. Just gonna get into it. I'm gonna keep this one pretty short and sweet um, just because Sidra's review is so beautiful and I really don't feel like there's much I can add to the conversation, but uh, I'm still gonna share my thoughts and my opinions on it. And I will leave the link to her review in the description as well so you can grace your eyes and your brains with her, her words too. I'll just start off by saying I really loved this book and I'm so glad that Sidra actually recommended that we read it um, last month in May. It is beautifully written and it's such a heartwarming yet really sad um, just all around really touching story. It's about an Indian Muslim family and they are preparing for the um, eldest daughter's wedding and then it kind of bounces back and forth from the past to the present. One of the biggest kind of plot points if you will um, during the present is that the the brother Amar is coming back and he had been gone for a few years um, kind of just ran away from home and we slowly piece together throughout the book as we go back to the past to kind of learn what happened, why he left, um, sort of just issues within the family just to kind of figure out what went so wrong and why there's so much tension now during the present when he did come back and um, to be with his sister on her wedding day and it is so sad at some parts. It just really shows you the importance of communication I guess in a family and just how different families operate um, especially me as you know a non-muslim and a white person reading about the sort of dynamics in an Indian Muslim family was just really eye-opening and, and interesting to see their experience you know not every Indian family is the same not every Muslim family is the same but just seeing how this particular family operated and kind of hurt each other without even realizing it at some points. No spoilers, but there were some parts that were, you saw several sides to what was happening. So not necessarily to excuse some things, but just to give you more context of why certain people acted the way they did. Um, and that was also really sad and touching. The way that Fatima wrote the book and included the different points of view was really beautiful and really well done. I will say, um, Sidra also mentioned it, and I mentioned it kind of in my midway, po um, my midway post, that we didn't hear from the other daughter's point of view, Hada. Um, she's the only person who we didn't get to kind of hear from, hear her perspective, her point of view, which I would have loved to hear from her because there were a lot of moments in the book where she was the strong one, the one who kind of seemed to understand Amar and also Amira, the other sister. But yeah, I just felt like she's a really interesting character and I would have loved to hear from her. Um, but that was really my only issue with the book was that I would have loved to hear from her as well. Other than that, I thought the balance was really great and it wasn't too, it wasn't confusing or anything. Some books where they kind of switch from different narrators sometimes can be hard to follow um, and even going back and forth through time but um, I thought she did it really well and it was super easy to follow along with just always really enjoyable to read I found that whenever I would pick it back up I just would not want to stop reading I definitely recommend it it is a very emotional book. I had a few different emotional reactions to it. It's a little bit longer. I think it's almost 400 pages. It um, doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like it's super long. Um, I felt like it ended really well, 
though I also didn't want it to end because I loved reading it and the writing style again I don't know if I've said this or how many times I've said it but it was just so beautifully written and this came out I want to say in 2018 yeah 2018 so hopefully um we'll get another book from her soon I'm definitely gonna read it because she is probably one of my new favorite authors um yeah, just gorgeous. And as it says on the back, um, a resonant portrait of what it means to be an American family today. I think that's so true and such a great way to kind of wrap up the novel and, and really just sums it up beautifully. Read it if you haven't. It is gorgeous. And yeah, five out of five. I loved it. Now for the June book announcement. Um, June is Pride Month. Happy Pride. We are going to be reading Transgender History by Susan Stryker, which sounds super interesting. I don't think I'd actually heard of this before until um, we were kind of discussing what we would read this month, but I'll read a little blurb on the Goodreads. Covering American transgender history from the mid 20th century to today, transgender history makes a chronological approach to the subject of transgender history with each chapter covering major movements, writings, and events. It includes informative sidebars, highlighting quotes from major texts and speeches in transgender history, and brief biographies of key players, plus excerpts from transgender memoirs, discussion of treatments of transgenderism in popular culture. So it sounds like a just all-encompassing, um, great kind of introduction to transgender history and the struggles. I'm so excited. Um, I think this will be our first, yeah, this will be our first nonfiction read for our book club. So I am very much looking forward to it. I've already ordered my copy. Bookshop.org is a great place to order books, support local bookstores. I'll be back later this month or early next month to talk about our June pick. So have a great Pride Month. Stay safe and 